you tarnish my name. I'm a child's author. I'm, um, you can look me up on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Um, I had a when I'm making under a contract to make another book. Probably gonna have to hold off on it because you, I, I'm a kid's author. You tarnish my name. All right, guys. So I recently did a video about a Walmart employee who decided to confront a young woman who was grocery shopping, and she noticed that her child was inappropriately dressed to the point where the little boy was shivering. He had no socks on, no shoes, no pants, no shirt, just a diaper. And when the Walmart employee decided to confront the woman on why she had her child dressed so inappropriately, she really had no answers. And instead, she thought it'd be a good idea to just argue back and forth, twerk in the middle of the frozen food aisle, and most of all, do nothing to actually solve the issue. It took the good-hearted nature of strangers standing by watching this happen to actually come by and properly clothe the child so that way he could stop shivering. And now this woman wants to tell her side of the story and try to defend her actions. Check it out. I want to say, first of all, you wasn't helping with a thing. You didn't help with a thing. You actually made stuff worse. First of all, you have a child that's dead. Rest in peace to your baby. I, I pray that God can have you with more kids, which I'm, I'm sure he will. He'll definitely bless you with more children. Um, but so as a mother, you should know what it feels like to have some have your kids away from you, have your children taken away from you. So right now, um, I lost 10 pounds currently because my kids are gone for me. I haven't seen my kids. Um, I, I see them now under super restrict restrict certain restrictions but like my son he doesn't understand why like he need therapy now he can't understand why i'm gone like in the public is too much going on in the public right now we can't i can't even take him chuck e cheese under supervision if i wanted to anywhere because people i'm getting like har harassments and things like that so um that's what's going on with that situation I, I guys this is this is bad this is bad. She's really trying to play the victim role right now. As if all the events that took place after Walmart weren't a product of her actions. She's trying to play the victim. This is crazy. I really feel bad for my baby. I play with my ear when I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. And he, every time I see him, he's like doing the same. You know, he is mama's child. He does the same thing. And I'm like, baby, like. It's gonna be all right, you know. And stuff like that. Like I just really can't explain to him for for real. For real, he's only forty years old. So that's with that. Um, I know a lot of y'all want to know that baby must be living in horrible living conditions. Horrible. If he's treated like that here, I wonder how he's treated at home. This is a period. A period. Sorry, a decimal. Of what? That's that's no, that's nothing. That's like. Baby stuff. That's like nothing. I'm talking private VIP to see Disney. VIP to see Blippy. They met this man. They met um who else they meet? They they do well. We do a lot of I do a lot of different activities with my kids and do water parks. I do arts and crafts with my kids. I don't give my kids melatonin. You know, I'm not saying I'm against the people that do, but I Man, listen, this is crazy. You got your kid in a freaking Walmart shivering to the point where other people notice it and have to speak up and actually say something because they're worried about that child's safety. Someone else has to come along and properly clothe your child so that way they can stop shivering. But you want to talk about Disney World and some Tonka trucks you got sitting in the living room? It's no way possible that you could be a, a logically sane person, have that happen, and think that going on about how you take your kids to all these uh, expensive, you know, places and have them doing activities, you know, all the other times is the way you should go about defending yourself. I don't do that. You know, I do everything. I read my kids books, um, let them run around. I let my kids do a lot. I do a lot. Of Every holiday I decorate for them. Um, just like as y'all can see, it's decorated in here now, which it was decorated before they they even left. So like, 
yeah um my kids believe in cupid everything else like i stated before in my facebook post which i i'm gonna put my page back up but i just kind of got off there for a little bit um so it's nothing how y'all try to say horrible living conditions never that never never ever 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 never that so um that's that about that my biggest thing right now though um it's the false allegations that's out there about me. Not a bad mama, never been a bad mama. It's, I, my main thing, really, honestly, is just I, I miss my kids. Like I said, I don't miss, lost 10 pounds already. Um, I can't really. Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy because she really talking like she's the victim. She's really talking like everything that happened isn't her fault. Like she couldn't simply have avoided this by not letting her kid leave the house dressed like that. She really believes she's the victim. Really, like I like like I'm chewing gum now. I will do stuff like that. My baby, he misses he misses me, and my biggest thing right now, I'm gonna make a go for me for gas because I'm under. Um, I don't really want to talk about the case too much, but I'm, I can't see my kids under like strict restrictions. I want to do raise money for gas for that to make sure I can see my babies in for indoor activities because right now we're not even in a safe space to even go to places. We can't even go nowhere publicly. Like you really ruined a lot of stuff, ma'am. How I mean I don't even know how she's doing this with a straight face. How in one breath are you able to sit there and say, it's all good over here. We go to Disney World over here. We go out to amusement parks. Look at the taco truck sitting in the living room. It's good. We eating good. We living good. And then not even five minutes later, she's sitting in this same video talking about going to start a GoFundMe so she could have some gas money. Like, for real, but if it was actually done from the goodness of your heart, you know, the Bible says that you want to do stuff, you know, those who, when you do good deeds, you give to the needy, blah, blah, blah. I'm not needy, by the way, but you give to the needy. You don't do it. You know, like, hey, look at me, look at me, like how the um, hypocrites would do. You actually, you know, you do it in private, you know, to your father that is because you're doing it for public. That's for people that can see. You need to do it to your father that is unseen. But I don't believe I saw your GoFundMe. You have received your reward in full, as the Bible states. I, you tarnished my name. I'm a child's author. I'm, um, you can look me up on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. Um, I got, my author name is Kimmy Darby. For I got a book about autism that's out as well. Um, I had a, when I'm making them under a contract to make another book, probably gonna have to hold off on it because you, I, I'm a kid's author. You tarnished my name. Um, you know, this is exactly what not taking accountability looks like. Quoting Bible scriptures all of a sudden as if she wasn't just literally twerking in the frozen food aisle. Speaking about how your name has been tarnished as if you weren't just carrying yourself in the most ratchet way you could think of. Against your neighbor, that's what you're doing because situations like this, now my kids have to heal from this, I have to heal from this, I'm going through stuff, I don't know if we got my kids back yet, uh, but you know, like the, the Bible says, we can rejoice when we run into trouble because it builds endurance, endurance builds character, and character builds strength, hope, and salvation. Um, everything happens for a reason. I, um, it's just, it's a lot, but I got faith in God. Um, like I said, you have received the reward in full. That little 20,000, God could have tripled that and made it 200,000, you know, but everything happens for a reason. This is bringing me closer to God. I'm trying some tribulations. Um, I just really got on here just to say that. Everybody that's defending me, thank you. Everybody's praying for me, thank you. I did want to say that. Just not go back and forth for anyone. You know, if you got to say something, say it. All right, guys, I'm going to stop right there. She doesn't do anything but keep talking in circles. Not even at one point does she ever actually address the issue as far as why she thought it was okay to have her child not dressed appropriately to the point to he was shivering. So I'm gonna stop it right there. But if there's anything you could really take away from this is that 
have a standard. Have some standards for yourself. Be mindful of the women who you give your time and your energy to. Because some man out there somewhere though it'd be a good idea to lay down with that woman and end up creating a child with her. And when you see behavior like this from parents, it's sad because you really know who ends up suffering in the end. The children, the ones who don't have any say, are stuck in that situation and will end up more than likely being a product of this environment that they have to come up in. And as a result, how that little boy is gonna turn out, who knows? Anyway, guys, questions, comments, thoughts, and your feedback, go ahead and drop it down below. I'll always appreciate when you guys chime in. Don't forget, you can support the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. And as always, until next time.